Ba da ba ba, the deer vlogs. This is the start. I'm, I'm vlogging. <coughs> Morning vlog. Um, I decided I'm gonna do my hair. So, I start with. Taking it out of whatever contraption it's been in for the past week and see the damage of neglecting it. Because <laughs> I go days without combing it sometimes. Record myself in the shower. So you're not gonna record what? Myself in the shower. Sausage in there too, that's what I said. You said that's some salsa? Sausage. Do you want that? No. Mm -hmm. But if you did, you can make that for yourself. Don't make me like that. We'll speed through the dandruff scratching part. Alright, so I figured I'll show you one side of me getting it together. So products that I use are I can never tell if I wash it all out because it never feels washed out completely but whatever so to help with my dandruff I use this tea tree lemongrass shampoo and then I use, I use one of these lines from this brand. I use salon quality products and not, you know, traditionally black products just because I don't have natural hair. It's relaxed, so I need I don't know. I mean, it just adds to the silkiness of my hair. So, I use salon quality. I'm almost out of this, but I put this on first, anyway. And then I part into four. Yes, I did. I'm gonna spray a little bit more. Use this one. Try to get a little extra on the ends. Not 
come out. This is like this is usually harder to come out the more new growth I have. Right now I'm still pretty early into my relaxer. About a month in. So coming out is pretty easy. I wanna shave my temples. I saw it on a girl that thought it was so cute. I might do it. I might do it. And now I get the blow dryer. I'm just gonna show this section because it's the same process all the way around the head. section and I put it up out of the way. Put that up out of the way. Then I get this whole middle section. I put that. And I put that out of the way to get started. Like that. And then I just do this little which is my weakest section because that's where most of my hair fell out <laughs> being a mom all right but i'm only gonna show my flat iron in front because you can't really see the back and i want to wash my phone all right we're back my sister's in there talking to me on the phone i forgot that i'm supposed to be recording this part of my process so that i'm sure what i do the roots, get the comb, chase it down. No plastic can feel frisky. I don't have to really work. Risky. I don't have to really worry about curl patterns, so that whole go once doesn't really 
fly in my mind that if you feel that way, I don't like run it a million times, but am I pressed to only go once? No. I'll show you again. Hit the roots. And come down. Hit the comb. And just pop it one more time for good measure. And there you go. Press here. I have a bunch of, so all these flyaways is hair growing back that I lost in the fire. <laughs> no, all the hair that I lost. So you know, I have a lot of hair typically, but postpartum shedding caused me to lose a lot, a lot of hair. I was sure I was going bald. Missy Pooh! Now, that to me is evidence of a good man. All right, y'all, I am finished. This part is I have to stop nursing. I should do a video on nursing. I have successfully nursed to the childish food of my children. I have to, but nursed my two children for a year. Maybe that's better. All right, so now I take this product. We should sit down and talk about it. It is smooth and gentle. Nixie poop! At the center of my head. Oh, I feel like I've been right over my head. Just go to the center. Like so. And we'll start on the other side. Lightly. Put it Even though I don't wear a center part. <laughs> I split it in half. And I wonder why. This is not a center parts. Run it through. Get on the ends. Good. Get on the edges. Really good. And voila! You have. I have my mouth open because I have a piece of hair in it. <laughs> I look good. I bump on the ends, but my bump never really stays. Ta da! Flat iron, and then I just take it.